Hey boys, I wanted to give you a quick look at uh, my first impressions on that new iPad remote app for the Studio Live that PreSonus got released from the App Store today. And uh, so let me give you a quick rundown. Mono gave me a few tips. I still managed to make a few mistakes as usual. But in any case, what uh, you can learn from my mistakes. So first things first, you, you got to take your uh, universal control and get it updated, updated to the latest and greatest. You can get that from the hardware section on the PreSonus website. Now, don't do what I did. I was going to back up, but I thought I'll do it after I install the universal control. Do your backup before you install the universal control. So here are the steps. Do your backup, then disconnect your laptop from the Studio Live download and install the universal control update and then reboot your computer and then plug your firewire cable and the newly installed universal control back into the SL and then if you haven't already install and launch the uh, SL remote software on your iPad okay so that being said let's take a peek uh, here it is the uh, icon here on the bottom row you see when we we launch it uh, you're gonna come up to this uh, uh, startup screen and lo and behold it recognizes the studio live the offline demo is built in so I select that and click connect and it should take me right to the main screen and there it is so you'll see down here at the bottom you've got three different buttons overview aux mix and graphic eq overview takes you right to the main features and functions of the desk aux mix takes you to the obviously to the aux mixes and then the graphic eq looks like that so back to the overview it's got some pretty cool features you can see uh, you can slide the faders easily mute unmute this is a pan control here and you'll see that it has a graphical illustration of the level of pan and you can also read the numerical values in the cell above it so it makes it easy to see if your fingers on the darn thing okay well, quick tap will launch your EQ settings and uh, you can close out of it over there and of course that's going to be relative to whatever channel strip you're on same thing you know when you're talking compressor or uh, any of the other uh, uh, effects there's your gates and your uh, you've also got your busing up here and assignments, firewire, very cool, very cool stuff. So there you have the main screen. Now if we jump ship and get over here to the aux mix, here you'll see uh, very simple to raise and lower the levels of the individual channels. You can slide that puppy with a flip back and forth, select any one of the auxes just by clicking on it right here. Uh, you can also pull up the EQ and the comp and gate on each of the aux mixes as well uh, and obviously I've shown six auxes here I'm running a SL16 again we can pull up the masters anywhere whether we're in auxes or on the main screen or whatnot and uh, same thing you've got your pans and your mutes and and all that sort of stuff so this is a toggle with the masters on and off right up there and finally you got your graphic EQs and uh, very cool flatten button there and the thing that I found it was slick is it's very fast. I mean, man, it is. there's no latency. It's instantaneous. I personally think that this is going to be the bomb, man. It, uh, unlike the novelty of being able to connect with a remote desktop app, this is the real deal. whole separate application. Very intuitive. Very simple. Just like you'd expect out of a Apple program, you know. But PreSonus did a good job, man, and I'm really thankful for it. And they're putting it out there for free. How cool is that? So in any case, there you have it. First look at, on the new uh, remote app for the Studio Live SL iPad remote. This is Big Joe Daddy, over and out.